Now, what does Zonda's admission mean for his position at the state capture inquiry, if anything? I'm joined by legal expert Matozzi Rachimbilani. Uh, good evening, and thank you very much for your time. So, on the surface of what uh, Zonda has said, is this a case for recusal? Well, Sally, the, the, the relevant laws that governs uh, recusal of judges and other judicial officers stems from the Judicial Services Act. Um, to this act, you know, is appended what is called the Judicial uh, Officers Conduct Code. Uh, and in there, you know, it specifically states that instances where judges will be required to recuse themselves, it's uh, situations where there are conflict of interest. And uh, however, it is very specific that the conflict uh, perceived or otherwise should not be insubstantial. Now, you should be mindful that the chairman of the commission, Judge Zondo, will be the one to make that decision once uh, a substantive application has been made before him. It seems from the statement that has been issued, given how the timing where he places the circumstances of the relationships, uh, it was a long time ago, and uh, it seems to me that he deems it as insubstantial, and the likelihood is that he will not accept that as a ground for him to recuse himself. Now, uh, uh, Zondo's statement also said that um, he felt the need to respond publicly because uh, former President Zuma came out with these allegations but then has not yet lodged an application for the chairperson's recusal. It's been over a month, he said. Why would there be such a delay in lodging an application? Um, why would you think? Look, uh, uh, I wouldn't know uh, uh, specifically why the delay, but um, uh, the fact that it has been delayed does not preclude, uh, you know, the former president from bringing the application. There are no timelines per se, uh, you know, in bringing recusal applications. Of course, if he brings it at the eve of his appearance, you know, unless if there are substantial ground, you know, it can always be perceived as opportunistic, uh, you know, to pose this exact same question that you are raising, that why doesn't he do it on time? But uh, my understanding is that there are no timelines, you know. So in other words, he even if he were to do it on the day that he's supposed to appear, you know, it will not be it will not be struck out for for time delays. But of course, the judge will have to apply his mind on the substantiveness of, of, of the information before him. So, so let's say that former President Zuma on the 15th of November, lodges this application saying, I believe there's a conflict of interest because of bad blood, because of our former family relations. You have been taking it out on me and you're completely biased against me. The judge himself, Zondo, has to look at this. Would that put a halt to everything that was planned for the 16th of November immediately? Look, indeed, uh, uh, of course, uh you know, he, he will be duty-bound to hear a formal or a substantive application from uh, Mr. Zuma's legal representatives. Uh, it will be within his powers to, you know, immediately or take time to make the decision. So it is possible that they can bring the application. He can almost dismiss it on the spot and say, look, I've heard what you say, but I do not believe I'm in a position of conflict and my recusal is not warranted. So it is not uh, inconceivable that he can he can hear the application and make the decision immediately upon you know the hearing of the matter. In which case, uh, uh, the matter will be ready to proceed. Would it though? Because wouldn't uh, the former president then be able to say, "Well, I disagree with your assessment, Judge Zonda, and I want to take this further"? Uh, or would the president at that point be forced to appear or potentially be arrested? Look, uh, obviously, one is on the realm of speculation here, but I would imagine, uh, you know, the decision of recusal lies with um, with the judge. And uh, if he uh, declines the application for recusal, uh, the matter will, will will need to proceed. Uh, of course, um, you know, if if um, the former president's uh, representative rushed to court, it is possible that a court of law can. Um, you know, stop the proceedings. But uh, the likelihood is that, uh, 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 you know, once once the matter is had, the decision will be made. 
of course, you know, this is not a court of law. You know, in the commission, it's more inquisitorial. There's, the judge has a lot of leeway to to act, you know, in a manner that he deems fit. So he might take the view that, um, you know, having um, um, refused the application for refusal in the interest of fairness, he might want to postpone and allow them to to take it further. But he will be entirely within his rights to refuse the application and, and, and proceed immediately with the, with the proceedings of the day. Well, thank you very much for your insights into a fascinating uh, issue developing there around the Zondo Commission. That was legal expert Matodzi Rachimbilani.